Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a summer 10 by 10 capsule. Now what I have been doing every single season is a 30 day capsule and I actually just wasn't that inspired at the start of the year to do one for summer and I thought that this might be a really sort of fun and relaxed way to sort of integrate a little bit of that capsule element into my style for the season without actually doing a full on capsule wardrobe. So I've got my 10 items. Now, if you aren't familiar with the 10 by 10 challenge, essentially what it is is 10 items for 10 days. And I just do clothing and shoes. You could also incorporate your bag as well if you so wished. And if you would like to see a winter version, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, let me know as I'm very happy to film one. I'll just put on the air con. <laughs> but yeah, it's been really lovely because it's just sort of started to feel like summer finally after a bit of a very wet start to it. So I'll run you through my 10 items first, eight of which are clothing pieces, two of which are shoes. And then I'm gonna share with you all of the outfits of which there are more than 10. So I think I maybe had 15 or 16 that I put together. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to mention is that you're gonna notice that this is such a nice warm neutral color palette. A little bit of a shift away from the more white, gray and black color palettes that I quite often tend to go for. So hopefully one that you will love if you also adore neutrals like I seem to at the moment. So my first item I wanted to include is a tank. Um, I tend to kind of live in sleeveless tanks like this or ones that have more of a scoop neck in the summer especially when it is very hot uh, it just feels very relaxed very easy and effortless um, and this one here it's from mate the label which is a relatively new to me brand i discovered it early in 2020 and then i finally decided to place my first order um, during their black friday sale I've since gone on to order a few more tanks. Um, I especially love this vintage style one. It is such a nice, soft cotton. Um, yeah, and I love the sort of raw edge detailing on it too. It looks a little bit destroyed or like you've had it for a really, really long time. Um, and this goes with everything, being in this really lovely sort of antique white or uh, creamy beige color. Then the second item is also a tank, but this one's a little bit different. So this one is from Lois Hazel, and instead of being a smooth cotton, it has a rib to it, so it's got a bit of stretch, which is really nice. It cuts down a little bit lower in the front, and then it has an even lower scoop back, which I think is just a very subtle but lovely detail. It kind of exposes a bit more of your skin, which is really nice when it is a very hot day. Um, I actually bought this after collaborating with the brand and having this item on loan. I just loved it that much. And the color of it is great as well. It's just this beautiful kind of cashew beige color love. Then my third top is actually one I've had for a really long time and I'd contemplated selling it. I'm glad I didn't. It is from Karen Walker. Maybe I should put it over here so you can get a better look. Uh, this is from the Believers Collection, which I think came out when I was maybe 19 or 20. Yeah, 20, I think. Um, just <laughs> looking back. Um, and I absolutely love that collection. It was one of my favorites that Karen Walker has ever done. Um, and this keyhole detail, I just think is really pretty. Um, it's a silk that has this floral uh, detail on it, which I'm not really sure it's going to pick up how beautiful it is in person, but I've had this for many years and it's just a really cool piece. Um, you can wear it tucked in or else you can wear it loose, which is kind of my preferred way to wear it. Then my final top, you will have seen me feature a few times already I'm sure it is this off the shoulder cotton poplin top from Free People. It does have long sleeves but being made from cotton it is a more breathable material and I find this is one that works really well on those slightly cooler summer days. Um, I tend to wear it off one shoulder however you can actually wear it with your shoulders on both sides peeking through. I just feel it's a lot more comfortable that way. Um, it does have elasticated uh, sleeves and also an elasticated section around the waist as well. Uh, this one is an older style however they have released a very similar one so I'm going to link that one down below um, in case you kind of have your eye on something like this. Then for bottoms I've got two pairs of shorts. The first pair are this sort of um, fawny brown uh, cotton linen short from St. Agni. This is called the Ranger short. Unfortunately I do believe this style has sold out uh, but if I can find them anywhere in any color I will link them below otherwise a similar one from this brand or another one. Uh, I like the fact these are really nice and high-waisted. They have a slightly longer length through the leg which is something I'm gravitating towards a little bit more now. Um, I don't know if that's just because I'm getting older or just because it's a style preference. <laughs> then the other pair of shorts, so these ones are shorter, these are from H&M and I have to say I think these are one of my best buys of 2020 and I wish I had mentioned them in my favorite purchases video but uh, these are just fabulous. They come second after my Madewell shorts. I have them in three different colors. They were 
only $15 and they're the kind of thing that is really easy to wear. I'm not concerned if they're going to get a little bit mucked up um, and I can just throw them in the wash being uh, made from a cotton twill. So super flattering as well having that paper bag waist and they're quite high waisted. Um, I love the color of these two. It's this beautiful khaki green or sort of like a muted khaki green almost sage. Gorgeous, very comfortable. And then I've got one skirt and this one uh, is sold out unfortunately but again I will try and find some alternatives. It is from Age which is an Australian brand that I really love. Um, this is fitted at the waist and then it has an A-line skirt with a slightly frayed edge detail to the hem. Wash black, very comfortable. Then we have my final clothing piece which is actually a knitwear piece and I decided to include this just for the fact that it has been relatively cool and you know you might have a summer where it is a little bit more mild or you have a slightly cool evening and you want to throw a knitwear piece on over the top. Now this might come as a bit of a surprise if you ever saw my first Cezanne order which was just a total disaster but I've since gone on to have a much better experience with the brand. Um, this is the Gaspard sweater and this is in the, um, is it the camel? brown color. Um, I had actually originally ordered this in the ecru or the white and it was sheer and it was not at all what I was looking for and I was really really disappointed um, and I just had uh, slightly different expectations. Perhaps now that I've got a bit more experience with the brand my expectations have shifted as I know what I'm going to get but I'm actually really happy with it. I love the color and I think the detail on it that is really striking is the little pearl buttons and the fact that this can be worn both as a sweater with the buttons at the front, you can unbutton a couple of the buttons, you can wear it as a cardigan or you can wear it with the buttons at the back as well as just a regular sweater. I think that's a really really nice um, detail and they did a similar one I think it was called the Barry. Um, I want to say two years ago and I always sort of regret not having purchased that one because it was a v-neck and I just think it was a little bit more flattering than having the crew neck especially when it comes to um, leaving the top couple of buttons undone. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that is the last clothing piece. Then the two pairs of shoes. These are both incredibly similar pairs of shoes. One is a low block heel pair. These are from Spur and I have mentioned these quite a few times on my IG stories and a few people I know have gone on to buy them. They are absolutely fabulous. As you might be able to tell just from looking at them, they are a dupe for these Saint Laurent slides. However, even better, they've got a low block heel. They're like a little mule and they're so incredibly comfortable. I actually tend to steer clear of faux leather shoes just because I do have wide feet, I've got a bunion and quite often they don't have any give. But these are so soft, uh, they're actually a lot more comfortable than many of my leather shoes which is just insane. Very easy to walk in um, and they are true to size. I've got them in the AU9 and I'm in EU40 just for reference. Um, yeah and they come in two colours, they come in a really tan colour as well. And then my final item is a pair of just flat slides. These are my Jane Debster slides which again also a dupe for the Saint Laurent slides. Um, I wanted to include these just to kind of go with that. Um, I suppose more brown uh, aesthetic that I have going on here with the clothing pieces. I thought these would match really nicely um, and again just add that bit of warmth and uh, work really well with the color palette I've chosen. So these are also really comfortable, again fit true to size. I've got them in an AU9 and I will make sure that I've got all of my sizing information down in the description box below along with links to all of the items or similar that I have mentioned. So those are my 10 pieces that I will be including as part of this 10 by 10 summer capsule. Now let's get on to the outfits. <laughs>
outfits and actually I do have a couple of other combos that I would have come up with just wearing that Gaspard knit as a sweater but hopefully you get the idea. I do hope that you enjoyed this. I'd love to know if you had a favorite piece or a favorite outfit. Um, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, for spending some of your day with me and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you very soon. Bye.